Today, let's talk about the apostle who came straight out of Damascus. You'll see what I mean when I read to you from Acts chapter 9, starting at verse 23, where we read, Now, after many days were passed, the Jews plotted to kill him. But their plot became known to Saul, and they watched the gates day and night to kill him. Then the disciples took him by night and let him down through the wall in a large basket. Saul of Tarsus, who is more commonly known by his Roman name Paul, was radically changed by Jesus Christ when Jesus revealed himself to Saul on the road to Damascus. The changes were dramatic, but they were not all pleasant or exciting. Some of them were humbling. That's what we read about here in Acts chapter 9, verses 23 through 25. The many days mentioned were indeed many days, probably a period of about three years, in which Paul also spent time in obscurity, out of the spotlight, in Arabia. After the time in Arabia, he came back to Damascus. All this is described in Galatians chapter 1. Now, in this period of time, the Jews plotted to kill him. This essentially began the many things he must suffer for my name's sake that the Lord spoke of in Acts chapter 9, verse 16. Saul went to Damascus as a persecutor, but he left that city as someone who was being persecuted. To escape the danger of death, the disciples took him by night and led him down through the wall in a large basket. Paul made an interesting reference to this event in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 32 and 33. He wrote this, In Damascus I was let down in a basket through a window. Paul wrote about this in 2 Corinthians 11 to describe one of his first real perils or hardships that he faced for Jesus' sake. Some 20 years after his escape from Damascus, Paul remembered the basket event as his apprenticeship in persecution. It was as if he said, this is how my ministry began and this is how it continues. In other words, there was a sense in which, humanly speaking, Paul's ministry began in weakness, and it continued in weakness. (laughs) Is there anything more descriptive of weakness than being let down through a window in a basket over a wall? (laughs) This was a powerful contrast between Saul of Tarsus, the mighty persecutor, and Paul the apostle, the humble servant of God. Saul of Tarsus traveled to Damascus full of man's power and authority directed against God's people. Paul the Apostle escaped Damascus humbly by hiding in a basket. The basket over the walls of Damascus taught Paul that God would protect him when he suffered persecution, but he also learned that God's deliverance often comes in humble ways. There's nothing triumphant about sneaking out of a city by night, hiding in a large basket. In a way, I suppose Paul came to love that basket. It brought deliverance in a way that most people would think was humble or even ridiculous. In this way, it was a small picture of the great deliverance Jesus won for his people on a humble cross crucified as the ultimate demonstration of God's love. If God's deliverance has come to you in a humble way, which it has in and through the cross, then don't ever despise it. Embrace it, receive it, and receive it today.